Welcome back, Principles of Accounting to students. This is the third of three problems from Chapter 25, all on relative, relevant costing. We did a special order problem earlier. We did a outsourcing problem earlier. And now we're going to do a segment elimination problem. Segment elimination is when you, you look at different products across your product line and you say this one's underperforming, we're going to get rid of it because it's, it's a dog. It just doesn't do anything for us anymore. So, um, and, and when you look at it from uh, you know, a very high level, it looks like this, this thing is you know, a bad, bad uh, product. Unfortunately, when you look at the relevant costs, it may or may not be the same decision. So here we've got a company called Movie Street. All right, they are alarmed. Management's always alarmed about operating losses. Nobody likes to lose money. And so they're gonna try to drop their DVD product line. For those of you at home, a DVD is this little silver looking Frisbee thing that you used to actually have to like take home and put in this machine called a DVD player. Um, it's, it's hard to describe. It's probably the, the size of your parents laptop and you put it in and it would make this noise and this picture would come up and it would actually play pictures off of this silver little disc looking thing um, way back before the internet could actually stream movies so anyway so they were thinking about getting rid of this thing and it makes sense um, there and there's also this thing called blu-ray that came out afterwards which was a nice version of a dvd a little bit more sophisticated um, also outdated as of this publication. So company accountants have prepared an analysis to help make this decision. So what do we have? We have a couple products here, right? We have our DVD product. We have our Blu-ray product. And then we have this total product. What is total product? You just add these two up. All right, so this is company-wide, right? you know, because Blu-ray plus DVD, hopefully, does that work out? Yes, equals your total revenue. You may recognize this as a contribution margin income statement. As you've seen in several chapters, you've had to create them for tests. You'll have to create them again. Um, live them, know them, love them. And then let's look down here at the bottom line, which is what management looks at, right? Management's not too smart. They say, well, look at this. Blu-ray is making 32 grand. And the DVD product's losing 41 grand. And company-wide, they're losing nine grand. So they're like, well, you know what? If we just get rid of this product here, we'd make 32 grand, which is way better than a $9,000 loss. Well, maybe they're right, but they're probably not right. Because if you remember relevant costs, some of these costs associated with the DVD player are company-wide costs and they wouldn't go away. And some will. So in this particular problem, it says total fixed costs will not change if the company stops selling DVDs. Right there, that's a big key to say your total fixed costs, which are these things, actually they're all these things, this is just a summation, won't change. Those aren't going to be relevant. Nice to know. I'm going to unyellow that for later. So then they're going to ask you, prepare a differential analysis to show whether Movie Street should drop the DVD product line. Will do. So all I did down here for now is I took this data here, which came with the problem, and I just copied it. And I added a little column here that says relevant. So what we have to do is identify the relevant costs. Really, we're talking about this line here, more or less. But your sales revenue, right there. Will your revenue change if we got rid of the DVD line? Yeah, it would change. I'd lose $127,000 in revenue. So that's relevant. Oop. How about my variable costs? Yes, those would change. Why would they change? Because I don't incur this $96,000 in costs. Ignore contribution margin for now because, I mean, we could do this problem based on contribution margin, but we're not going to. But a clue is if this has a positive contribution margin and none of your fixed costs go away, it's actually helping your bottom line. But for this exercise, let's hold off on that. For now, for a second. All right, now our fixed manufacturing costs. Remember up here it said total fixed costs will not change. Well, if they don't change, they're irrelevant, much like your professor. Your total, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ignore the calculation once because all the total is is this plus this. So let's just skip that for a second. All right, 
So those are your relevant revenues and costs. Now all I have to do now is calculate the new operating income. Well, let's see. I would have 305 there, and that would be zero if I stopped producing it, right? And this would be 150, and that would be zero. My contribution margin would be zero. That was that number here, that was 31, is now zero. So things are already looking a little grim. Let's add these up. My top line revenue has gone down. And my variable costs have gone down. That's kind of nice. My total contribution margin as a company has gone down. So that's concerning. All right. So then with your fixed costs, my manufacturing here stays at 71000 And here it stays at 52000 Here, remember these don't go away because they're fixed. And we said they don't go away. Look at this. I went from losing 41,000 to losing 72,000. And let's sum this up. I went from losing 9,000 to losing 40,000 because of these fixed costs. So really, and, and then when you get remember the allocation chapter with ABC, it's possible some of these fixed costs are misassigned like if they're not using ABC, and they actually belong to Blu-ray anyway, and so it's artificial on paper. Um, but they would lose more money if they got rid of DVDs than if they didn't, so they should keep the product. Now what if these fixed costs went away? What if these suddenly became relevant? These would go to zero, company would now make more money and the solution would be get rid of DVDs. Unfortunately that's not the case. Right now you want to keep the product. All right well that's a quick video. Hopefully this is starting to make sense. We are in the home stretch. There's another week of school left and then a big comprehensive excuse me big comprehensive final. Best of luck to y'all. Um, happy hunting. Bye.